Hello and welcome back to Once Human. So I haven't played this game since the closed beta 2, which was about three, three months, two, three months ago. So I've got been given a key for the closed beta 3. So this comes with a lot of updates, a lot of new content and a lot of quality of life fixes. So, and there's no, um, no progression. So obviously I've got to start from the beginning again. So I've just created my new character here. Randomized character here. Let's get into the game. Liquid nitrogen. Negative 195.79 Celsius. So I vaguely remember this cutscene as well. I mean, the game looks good. Detected. Subject status stable. Dagger still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Secure me, please. The end of him. This is me just waking up in my little pod. Dagger stuck in there, so we've got to pull that out. Yeah, remove the dagger. Let's take this activator, heal myself up. Let's remember how to play it right there. There we are in the game. What I've unlocked there looks like uh, some emotes. Fair enough, okay. Emergency med kit. Well, we've got can lunch meat and board water. We'll take that now, all right. I'll eat some of that now because I'm hungry and thirsty. Eat some, drink some boiled water as well. <laughs> and check out this dead dude here. Uh, let's give me a deviation file. Check out the memo. Uh, so it's giving me the access code to for the door to escape this room. So anything else around here? No, I can't see anything. Let's go. Oh, control to dodge. Oh, what's the code? Oh seven two eight. Oh seven. Two, eight, verified, we're in. Got another deviation for, I got sanity gummy for that as well. So I've got a lock of my, um, yeah, yeah, so I haven't got anything in the minute. What have we got in my backpack? Sanity gummy, uh, activate and boiled water, okay. Let's go in this room. Oh, well, the game does look amazing. It's really good. Yeah, then V. Talk to this strange bird. Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman too. I am. Um, Asking what a metahuman I don't know is. Who you are, but I know I've got no voice acting for your character in this. 
You awakened the cradle. Do you remember who you are? No, I don't remember. It must have been that. You can call me V. I came to secure a deviation, a paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. But only if you help me complete my mission. All you have to do is listen to what I tell you. Okay. Go for it. Alright, so hit Q, space time. Ah, oh, that's it, yeah, so you can see any resources that are around. What we got here, weapon crate. Oh, look in here. Got machete and boiled water, All right? Here we go, look at that machete, let's go. Got some deviants over here. Oh, let's sneak up behind them. Do a little uh, sneak attack. This is a lifeline that has been infected with stardust. It's called a deviant. Our world has been overrun. Let's see, you got on him. Spoiled water. Ordinary humans yeah, this one. Can take high levels of stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like. But you're a medic. You should be fine. In fact, conditions allow you might even be able to use stardust to your advantage. Another activator. And there's one over there. Sneak up behind him. Oh no, you see me. Oh, let's have it. What's that? Right mouse is heavy attack. Okay. Got some flatbread. Got anything else around here? Yeah, what's this? Weapon crate. Give me a gun. No, Molotov cocktail, I'll take that. System, the weapons crate, no gear crate. We've got our rustic hat and some uh, fabric, uh, shabby fabric. All right, so gear. So I've already got the hat on. Okay, and so I've got anything else at the minute? Any blueprints? All right, and I think I noticed one thing that I did. So if you go to events, so you've got special events now as well. So you get login rewards as well. So if I log in for the first week, I get Light Forge Medal. Get 10 of them, 1500 Star Chrome, and the Secret Treasure Supply Kit. I'll take that. And what else is there? Scarlet Dragon Challenge. So if I collect 10 of them, collect 50 Light Forge Medals, and I'll be able to claim this set. Okay, that's going to be looking like. Some kind of warlord, look at that. That's pretty cool. And the astral julets, you receive 20 astral julets at 6 a.m. every day, so I could exchange these for different resources as well. So I'll keep them for now. Let's go and have a look upstairs. Lots of read notes. Notes can be found scattered all over this world. Read them to learn more about Nolcott's past. Notes will also be stored in the collections. Menu, okay. Go oh, this way. We got here. Item crate. Some metal scraps and some fabric. Have a look up this way. Has that sent me? Oh, that sent me over to the other side, hasn't it? Okay, press space um, to jump. Fair enough. Oh, there's another one there. He spotted me. Why, you bastard? Let's have it. Any more? No. What you got on your activator? Check out this crate. Weapons crate, is it? Gear crate. I've got some rustic shoes and some canned lunch meat. All right, let's have a drink of boiled water because I'm a bit thirsty. We've got deviation observation report. 
Uh, deviation of a no level detected in the research area. Okay. Okay. What the hell is that? After image. Watch this. Uh, the Eva V Fallujian. Press Q to use space style to investigate the area. Spatial fluctuations often cause anomalies in time, allowing past scenes to be witnessed once again. Okay. Be a bug. He literally just wants to run. There you go, stop now. I must have been a bug when I've uh, pressed the um, base time. Right over here, some floating doors. Supply crate. Give me some canned lunch meat and some boiled water. I can go through there. No. Okay, I think this is new. This um, roulette wheel. I don't think we had that before. Yeah, it's a lot quicker. It's a lot easier. That's another quality of life they've added to it. In space time detected. Okay. <laughs> I can't get through there. Oh, let's hit this last one. We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I've finally found it. You, we can secure other deviations. I think this has changed. I think this starts to change from the last time I played it. I think you had to go down there last time. Okay, so that's must be a uh, new starting point. They've changed it. Got some metal scraps and some shabby fabric. I don't remember going through here last time. Or did I? What have I done? I'll sneak up on him. That should work. Control his head, so if I hit him with the. Yeah, I can fire things out of it. Where's that other one gone? See what's in this crate. Got some rusted gloves, fabric, and boiled water. Down here. The deviation. We found it. Reach out your left hand. See if you can feel the rhythm of it. And try and secure it. You guys, caps deviation. Success rate depends on gloves, whips, relevant attributes. Well, we just obtained the butterfly. That's my first deviant.
Ah, so I remember this house now. Victor Ham Hamet Hamet's territory. Victor Hamet's diary. I used to grid attacks that delivered significant military success so far, but I'm afraid it's not enough. Rosetta is clearly planning something big. If the Mayflowers limit ourselves to strike on minor targets, we'll never be able to stop them. Okay, thanks for that, Victor. Yes, I think I need to put that in there. I think I need to talk to her first, so. Get out of that. Let's go talk to this blind girl. Mitsuko. B, you're still alive. Yes, and look what I found. A meadow. Only just woke up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, meta human. This means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a meta human as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. So this paper butterfly is the deviation you were looking for. Yes, an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. What we've got in our place but a is emissary in the territory's securement facility. Well, let's put your butterfly in there. The butterfly is recovered. There we go. It's deviant power 60. I think it likes it's going you. up to 100. Mood is at 100. It's auto Mitsuko. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. Just, what's she got in her mouth? Look like she's eating something. The mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations mouth. contained. We're trying to find ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. We figure this is our best chance of cleaning up the mess that Rosetta made. So what exactly are the deviations anyway? No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Like with Starfall. Sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence, and when that happens, all hell breaks loose. So what exactly Some are you trying to are do? Friendly, like the butterfly, but others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them, of course, but if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. Also, the stardust just keeps spreading, and we aren't sure why. The siren! Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space, and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help. Well, let's grab that butterfly, see what's in here. What have we got? Supply crate. More fabric and metal scraps. Alright, let's grab this house over here. This is a weapon grate. Yeah, weapon grate. Give me a gun. No, jacket and some arrows. There's a medical bag over here. Some gummies and boiled water. 
Let's have a drink of water. Another diary. Received the survey report that Rosetta is developing some kind of secret new Silvergate technology. Apparently reopening the monoliths on the island and activating the silver gates wasn't enough for them. If true, this could prove catastrophic. Did they really learn nothing from Star Four? Have a look at the top, see if there's any gear up here. No, nothing. Nice house. Well, let's go pick the butterfly up. So interact with the isolated secure unit to view the details of the butterfly's emissary. Okay. Let's pop that back in. Oh, there we go. Your current deviations, basic stats are displayed in the top left. Uh, deviations slowly recover deviant power when dormant ex and expend it when awake. When deviant power falls to zero, the deviation will become dormant. The better the deviation is moved, the more efficient it will, it will be. The current deviation skills are displayed on the right. So we've got fatal flaw and auto attack. So click to sync your com combative deviation with your cradle. Alright, so let's sync that. Uh, combative deviation, a special type of deviation, is aggressive but can be fully controlled by meta human and secure state. Each combative deviation has different abilities, so you can use def different deviations to cope with different environments. Uh, to control the deviation, the dormant threshold of combatant deviation is not settable and defaults to 100. When a combatant deviation is um, reaches full, the deviation could be synced to the metahuman cradle. Okay. But we've got fatal flaw. Takes effect when player handling is thrown, inflicts status damage on a hostile target, throws shots, and tags that target's weak spot section. We've got auto attack, automatically attacks hostile targets. Okay, right, let's grab it. Let's cancel that. Right, log in by hand, get a log, freehand mining stone. That's yeah, so we've got a new wheel for the deviant now. That's new, so we've got auto attack, fatal floor, and recovery uh securement progress. So right, let's go mine some ore and some wood. Let's get some logs. I'm gonna do an need ten. Also finish the tree off. So slow the stone. Need to get an axe. Got Thirty-seven logs. Okay. Three hand mining stone as well. Well, that's copper ore. So I need to go find some stone. Some ruins over there. Go find that stone. There we go. Is this stone? Yeah, rock. Get some stone. Or gravel, as it, as it called. Yeah, so this is more of like a uh, introduction to the game now, whereas before, when you come out, you just automatically fought that big boss. Uh, they've added this into it. I'll find a suitable location and press T to set up camp. Oh, where should I set up camp? There's loads of ore over here, water over here. Go over here. We're on the hill up there. Go up the hill. Alright, should we set up camp here? Alright, oh, press T, let's set on the camp. Set it up on here. Overlaps with the other objects. No, I can't even set it on here. I think the terrain's not flat enough. Well, this will do. There we go. 
Right, use a simple crafting bench in a campsite to make basic gear tools and dishes good enough for emergencies. Okay. So let's craft some items then. Right, craft with bare hands, what we got then? Make some throwing daggers, uh, that's it at the minute. Weapon crafting, crossbow and a torch and some armor crafting, I could craft some of these rustic gear. Right, so what do I need to make? In survival campsites, make a crossbow, um, make, an, make arrows and make a rough pickaxe. Right, so let's craft a crossbow. I yeah, need 25 logs for the crossbow. There we go, so I've got myself a crossbow. And what do I need? I need some arrows and a pickaxe. So let's make a pickaxe. There, I need some more logs and gravel for that. Okay. And I need logs and gravel. So let's go and grab some logs and some gravel. Right, let's equip that a uh, crossbow first. And modifier, I haven't got any mod. I ain't got any mods for it at the moment. There we go, we've got a crossbow with 10 arrows. Right, let's go get some more stone and some more wood. Let's chop some trees down. I'm a bit thirsty. Drink some water. Can I drink this water or is it dirty water? We'll find out. Might have a sanity go down. Yes, yeah, dirty water. Yeah, so I've got to boil it to be able to drink it. Let's drink some boiling water. There we go. And let's chop this banyan tree down. And then I need to go find some stone. There's some over there. Stone, yeah, it looks like stone to me. Yeah, We've got 15 gravel. I don't think that's going to be enough, is it? I've got some mushrooms here, I'll grab them or not. There's yeah, some more stone over here. Access the map? No. I have to complete this mission first before I can access the map. So let's go and make some arrows and a pickaxe. Should have made the pickaxe first, really, shouldn't I? Would have been a lot easier. Alright, so I've got three pickaxes. Let's craft one of them. And arrows. How much you get? Five. collect them there we go I think I don't think you have to have it equipped in your hot bar either I think if you just go up what I can remember equip a gathering tool before you start collecting resources much faster than do it barehanded um, yeah I can harvest it crack down attacking deviants okay yes yeah, so this is when the boss oh, it starts well, let's head over here We've got a Scarlet Calamus. Take some of them. Oh, let's do the boss fight. Let's go.
foul is that? Look at the size of it. Some little smaller ones here. Let's take the B cell level 5 siren. What we got here? Weapon crate. A quick look in this. Give me some arrows. Okay. The siren. So strong. Yeah, where are they? Where's the little ones? Really carrying his current deviant. Okay. Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. Or attack butterfly. Go. Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. Well then, butterfly, let's go for it. Let's hit him with an arrow. Easy, see. These arrows do a lot of damage. Got these auto turrets. That's my deviant. Are you attacking him? He must be. Oh, I've got a season goal as well of Mr. Mirage. I'll jump on this. No. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. One shot. There we go. That was easy enough. Hit here by bubbles. Oh, that one, that that wasn't too bad. Look in this door, see what's going on. The deviant power. So if you put it back in there, it gains more power, and then you can take it back out again. Why's there another one in there? I've got one in my back. Let's go and have a look down here. What we've got to do? Control and secure the deviation that appears in front of you. Escaped. Damn it, Soko, about deviations escape. I uh, couldn't get that one. Damn. Oh, let's let her know what happened. Escape. Damn, you're all V. Damn. And it's all thanks to you, Meta. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you've saved me. Yes. Mitsuko created this rift space, a refuge from the dangers of the physical world, or so we thought. Do you think that deviation will come back? It's possible. We just can't sit here and wait, though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Yeah, why not? Take the butterfly with you. I feel like they could have put in voice acting on your character. Way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully, we'll meet again. It's a bit silly when day. he's doing all these head looks motions. Like this is goodbye. Before you they go. might do. If you have any questions, when the game's actually I can released. Try and answer them for you. All right, tab hold. Hold calls out function wheel and select the camera. And we'll take a picture of Mitsoko. This seems a bit, uh, a bit naughty. Let's just take it. Well, let's get off that. Right, press tab and select the camera and take a photo of Mitsoko as a farewell keepsake. Okay, this is a bit creepy. Right, let's get my camera out. And the movement on it, it's horrible. That ain't too bad actually. Use the right mouse for, to move it. Change the field of view, first person. You've got depth of field, environment. Change the uh, environment on it. Okay, we'll stick to real time. Okay, so move with that and then take a photo.
So V hide, X reset, turn off automatic target recognition. And to open the album. Okay, so you can save them all to your cloud as well. Can I shoot her? Should we try that? Yeah. It don't work. Alright, let's take a picture of you. Get out of here. There we go, look at that. Keepsake. A bit creepy, but we'll do. Alright, leaving Mitsoko Sanctuary for the New World. Oh, there's a diary over here. It's a Hamnet's diary. Another one. After some trial and error, I finally managed to add a working containment function to the cradle. It should prove quite useful. We'll have to make use of as many deviations as we can if we want to beat Rosetta. Yes, we will. Right, let's get out of here. Sucked me out, that was crazy. Starfall, and the world is still infested with Stardust. Yeah, I've got an achievement. Welcome well, back. Reactivated too. And I've just got another thing. I didn't see what it was. A, use move to control, control the glide location. In the air, enter or exit gliding state. Okay. There we go. So we drop it into the main game. I should head over to have a quick look at the map. Where are we? What's that over there? Deadsville. Uh, we need to set up a camp first, so where should we go first? Maybe we should set up a camp on the road here, maybe? Oh no, it's someone else's territory. Oh, I'll just land, let's go for it. Let's set up a territory. We're in. Right, open the menu screen for season related content. There we go. A territory terminal forms the basis of your territory and defines the area in which you can build. Free to construct your home as you see fit within this area, and you'll have access to functions such as crafting, planting, disassembly, and more. Right, so what we got here? Treasure Hunter's Handbook. Take your Treasure Hunter Handbook and a bark on a journey. It's filled with unknown surprises. Oh, it's one day login streets claim that I've got a light forge medal obtained for warband ranking event used to redeem special rewards upon the official launch okay I'll have one of them thank you very much well, there we go we're in the main game Yeah, there's a red mail, so I need to set up a mailbox. I think you do that when you um, set up a base. Where even am I? So I'm at inspection point level one recommended. Okay, all right, let's go take these out. See what these guys are. Another player over there. This is on. This is PVE at the minute. I think they've got dedicated servers now for PVP. Um, I'm not sure what happened. The last one, I think there was just certain areas that you went into which were P PvP was allowed. I think they've actually made dedicated servers now. Have a look down here. Get out of it. We got for me, it's massive. This. 
Buku's post. Ah, oh, yeah, so you can put um, our little markers down, which is pretty cool. If you're about to go to an area which is quite difficult, people actually drop you like little hints, which is pretty cool. Let's go in here. Can I go in there? No. Go up here, see what's up here. I can't see him. Ah, oh, there you are. Get out of it. Oh, let's loot. What have we got? Scrap core stock. So we've got stock for a, uh, one of the guns. Nice. Blankets. Fabrics. Where the hell is that coming from? Might be on the roof. We've got a storage crate. Some jump rope, jacket, kettle and fabric. More arrows, alarm clock. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of scrap in this which you have to uh, mount it down basically for different components that you use for crafting. It is up there. There's a ladder. Out the other door. Whoa, where'd you come from? Hit me the machete. They spawned in pretty quick. The ladder. Maybe I can't get up there. Oh, there it is. Let's jump down here. So... Yeah, it's not, no full damage. Oh, I think there is, but that was. I don't think I fell that, that far. Well, let's go and have a look in here. I'm a bit thirsty at the minute. Well, let's have something to eat. And have a drink. This is the dude, I can hear him. Oh, there you are, just spawned randomly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get me out. Nice. Knocked his armour. And he just keeps spawning in. Let's have a look around. I need to go set up a base, really. Well, let's go over here. Someone's territory is over here. Let's have a look where I want to go. There's a load of copper ore over there, which we can go get as well.
Let's have a look. Where am I? So Deadsville was over there. Target point. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the camp, isn't it? I think Deadsville. Well, let's set up a little camp first. I think I'll be able to do it right. There's a deer there. I love that. Give me a sanity gummy and some hide. Let's go check this out up here. Oh, I'd miss. I fell down. Missed again. There we go, that's better. We've got a storage crate here, yeah, see what's in this. Coat hanger, yeah, just loads of junk. More junk. Right, where's the where's Deadsville? Alright, so if I head up that direction. Go that way. Might as well grab some copper ore while I'm on the way. Stone. The boot of this car. What you got for me? It's junk. Portable mixed fuel. Investigate this. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell was that? That was me. Little doppelganger. Oh, there we go. We're at Deadsville now. This is like the hub. Look at camp. We've got over here. There's someone over here. Adventurer. Let's talk to him. Yeah, I definitely need some voice acting, I think. So, so I've got a new task now. Let's have a quick look at that. Um, gear. Did I pick up any new gear? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. Yes, I've got this. I'm already wearing it. The rustic jacket. Let's have a look at the journey. So, 
Ah, so once you complete these, you actually get resources as well. So it's saying I've completed one of them. I don't know. I'll have a look. Uh, we've got achievements as well. You complete them and you get a load of resources as well. I've done three so far. Welcome back. The overdue guest put floor is emissary. Um, collections. I don't need to look at them. Right, what tasks we got? Got Eye of Evolution. So obviously the beginning task, and then we've got, just got this one, the Shadowed Lighthouse. So the lighthouse. That lighthouse is a beacon on the sea, driving out the darkness. Find the lighthouse with this clue. And the lighthouse is there, so it tells you where it is on the map as well. Fair enough. Yeah, we've got another player here as well. Uckwoof. Well, let's head to the camp. Bad Weezy. There you go. A haven of perils in the wilderness and entered your territory energy. Well, let's go read my mail. Okay, CBT3 welcome rewards. Dear Meta, we deeply regret to inform you that the launch of what's has been delayed by one day. Yes, because it was supposed to actually be dropped yesterday. So they're giving me all this to claim. So they're giving me a barrel of premium fuel, sorted canned fruit, some gummies, 3000 energy link and mayfly cap. I'll have all of that. Thank you very much. Delete that. We don't need that anymore. Let's get that out of the mailbox. There we go, just complete another season goal. It's Claire. Let's read one of these Gordon's posts, see what they actually say. Like me. I love you. Like me. No. I don't think so. Yeah, and this we've still got a bit of a lost in translation there as well. See what Claire's got to say. Last time I did it, she gave me a quest to do. I don't know if they've changed that or not. Alright, your goods are pretty unusual. I think they've changed Claire as well. I can't remember looking like that before. Have you seen any of the Mayflowers? Just tell me where the Mayflowers are, Claire. Anything worth exploring? Heard of one place, Aiden's Auto Repair. It was abandoned 20 years ago, and the owner, Aiden Collins, was known to be. Uh, after the staff all the Collins family disappeared. Let's have a look at the shop, see what she's got for me. Oh, we've got a small frame, that's all she's selling. Oh, no. I don't want a small frame. Ripple in space time detected nearby. This one. Hold a vision of perfection. Let's speak to him. No. Yeah, let's look. Qua uh, Claire didn't give me a quest. She did in the last one. Anything around here? James Garland's upstairs. Let's go speak to him. Hey, James, let's chat. Are you in charge here? Tell me about this place. I just want a quest off you, James. Stop waffling. 
I'm not interested really, I'm just being polite. What a load of old drivel. Oh, sorry James, but I've got to get out of here because you're boring the hell out of me. Got another shop here. Severin 7. See what he's got. Uh, he sells Starcrom crates and reflex solids. He sells all the good stuff. But I haven't got any. I need Stella Palunas for that, which I haven't got any. So, sorry, but no thanks. Let's go and meet this dude here. Can't read Chinese, so. Activate our flatbread and roasted meat. No, I'm not interested. So I think the next thing what I'm going to do, because I'm here, I'll probably need to set up a camp really. I'll go over there, Citrus County and uh, Rotten Manor. I need to head over there as well. There's a Rift Anchor over there as well. To reach the Monolith of Greed. Okay, so I need to go over there and complete Throughville as well. And Overlook. Uh, teleportation towers there. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do, actually, I need to set up a camp first and I can start crafting some better weapons and some better um, some better clothing. So I think I'll do that on the next video, but this is just a quick induction for the um, closed beta 3, which has come out. So, I mean, it's looking good. It was good before anyway. I haven't played it for three months, so this game is is looking looking shit hot at the minute. So I appreciate you for watching, guys. If you um, please like the video, if you um, did enjoy it, and don't forget to sub. And I'll see you in the next one. I will be making. I think this bait is on for about another month. Is it month, month and a half or something? I'm not sure. But we'll be making more content on this anyway. So if you do like it, make sure to watch them. And I'll see you in the next one.